Okay, I'm in front of this duplex on 31st Street, and I just want to give you a feel for the area first. So this is um, just looking north down 31st Street. We got a lot of snow <laughs> last night, for Boise anyway. There's probably three or four inches, but um, this neighborhood is kind of a, an interesting mix. There's uh, another duplex is pretty similar next door, um, and then this is the place right here. I'll walk out in front of it, but there most of the lots around here are new builds so there are older homes here that have been either torn down or completely renovated and there's a lot of new builds and newer buildings going on down here you can i don't know if you can see but there's two houses down there there's a brand new house that um, is being sited today um, and then everything across the street here is all newer houses probably homes that are built like in the last 10 years or so um, and then so this side of the street, there's a newer house, two houses down, and then this one right next door looks like it's probably been renovated in the last decade or so. And then the duplex that you have under contract is right here. So I'm just going to walk around the outside and then I'll do videos separately of the inside. Um, you can see there's a, a wood fence and this is kind of the backyard for the front unit. They have separate mailboxes and then there's a couple parking spots up front that um, make sense at least for the, the front unit. Um, I'm going to see if I can just peek over the fence so you can get a feel for the yard out here. Uh, not much to see. It's just covered in snow. But when I was here the other day, um, it was pretty obvious to me that they have a, a big dog anyway. And there's, it needs, it needs a lot of landscaping help. So, um, we can have our landscape crews come over in the spring and make it nice. Um, but you can see the access to both units is just right down this walkway. So, if I walk down the walkway here, you can see it's slightly covered, and there are uh, rain gutters above us here, so hopefully all that water is being wicked away. Um, so this is the Airbnb unit in the back here, but uh, there are two separate electrical meters here, so they're metered separately for electrical. Uh, I don't think there's gas service at all here. I think they're electric furnaces, but there's an alley in the back. And so you can see there's a brand new house being built directly behind. Um, both of these houses over here are brand new houses. So a lot of gentrification here for sure. This one directly behind is a little older, but you have the alleyway here. Um, and then uh, the alley kind of ends, it looks like right there at this next house. But there's lots of parking in the back here. Um, so there's looks like four storage closets and then this uh, carport is big enough easily for two cars and then there is a another little parking pad over here so you could put at least three cars back here probably more if you wanted to um, and then you probably won't be able to see anything in the backyard here but there's a little strip of a backyard for this back unit it's probably 12 by 30 feet something like that um, there's a small concrete patio there as well. So anyhow, just to give you a feel for the outside, I guess I should point out, um, from what I can see, there's no obvious damage to the siding. It's probably, probably wouldn't hurt to get it painted. Um, they'll, but if nothing else, it, it's definitely brown, <laughs> but uh, it looks like the siding's generally in pretty good shape. I think that there might be some small repairs, but um, might consider painting. But there is the exterior.